Hello there, this is Feb by NewYorkians.com and ahead of us or in front of us we have the Australian dollar and the US dollar 4 hours chart from my point of view the currency pair is making here a leg of a contract in triangle that is bearish after ending another leg of a contract in triangle that was bullish namely we should look for put options on the Australian dollar, US dollar, even though market now seems, the, seems to, um, uh, to be, uh, let's say, oversold, we are not afraid of that, we are selling into weakness, this is what it is being called. Now, let's zoom out a bit and look at the bigger picture and see what the leg of a triangle means. Well, our leg of a contract in triangle most likely started from around this area, it doesn't really matter from where, like this and all the way to the recent highs I would say that we have nothing but a wave A there is a strong possibility let me put this one in here and with red and then we'll zoom in like this there is a strong possibility that wave A is not actually done at the highs in here it might very well be done here or it might very well as well be done here as um, again now whenever you have an impulsive move as part of a C wave of a flat like it is here then the leg of a triangle if it is a double combination or a triple combination and so on should be 100% retraced only if we are having nothing but a failure for the last leg. This is what I'm looking for here. This to be a failure for the move to the upside and therefore this to be wave A with the whole pattern from here to here to be called a double combination A, B, C, X, A, B, C. This is being called double combination but because the two patterns are flat normally it should be a double flat. So going with this being wave A over lower degree, so over lower degree let's make it a bit smaller and of a different color then the B wave to the downside then the C wave with the impulsive move A, B, C, this is being called the flat pattern then we have the X wave then another wave A to the upside then the B wave and the C wave the last flat is being called a flat with a C failure and this flat with a C failure calls for complete retracement of the whole leg the whole leg started from here and therefore we should look now for uh, the move to the downside to start we have wave A so we should look for a B wave the B wave should go somewhere around 0.77 maybe even point, point 70, point 0.70 something it is not important or it is not mandatory if you want for the B wave per se to break these lows those lows may be broken by parts of the C wave to follow it doesn't really matter what we do know is that this market is bearish here and normally we should engage into buying put options being in the second half of May I am kind of favoring put options with end of day not end of day sorry with end of week basically on the 22nd of May 22nd of May at 17.10 GMT and also I would favor put options with end of month that would be on the 29th of May at 17.10 GMT leg of a triangle, bearish leg of a triangle this is 79.29 still more to come on the Australian dollar and US dollar thank you very much for being here and have a great day bye bye